Hi everybody, my name is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog on building science and fine craftsmanship. I'm here at a uh, remodel uh, that my company's doing here in Central Austin. This is a pretty fun project. Behind me here is a 60s ranch style house that we've really done a whole house makeover on with uh, Weber Studios. Really fun project. I wanted to talk to you about a very specific detail that's really important uh, for longevity. We're talking about exterior caulking today. When we've got houses that have mixed materials that come together on the outside, the choice for caulking makes a huge difference in longevity. A lot of times houses look great the day you move in or even six months down the road, but within a very short period of time you see a lot of cracking in that caulking. And uh, sometimes that caulking is necessary for weatherpro weatherproofing, other times not. The, in general, the way I build, that caulking is purely aesthetic. Uh, we're trying to make sure all our weatherproofing is behind there. But when we're talking about fine craftsmanship, we want to talk about aesthetics as well. So let me show you what we did on this house that's pretty, uh, a pretty good product. As you can see, we've got brick on this outside here, and we're coming up to one of the side entryways. This is our garage right here. This is the uh, kind of mudroom entrance. And the connection that I'm specifically talking about is this uh, brick to wood connection. This joint needs caulked, um, again, purely for aesthetics. And that's a joint that's really prone to cracking if you use the wrong product. What we used on this house, and what I really like to use for this, uh, is a sonelastic product called NP1. It comes in multiple different colors. Um, great product, but it also needs to be applied correctly. When you've got a, a gap that's got some distance to it, like this one, this, this is probably a good you know, 3 eighths of an inch, maybe as much as a half. And you're going to see that vary with brick. You, you need, really need to use a backer rod. So what happens is before this is caulked, the painting contractor is going to shove that backer rod in there. And of course this comes in different sizes. You want to get the correct size for the opening. The idea is that that caulk is not going to stick to the back. You only want your caulk to adhere on two sides, basically to the wood and to the brick, but not to the back side. If it adheres on all three sides of that U-shape, that's when cracking occurs, even with the top of the line product like this, although not as much with NP1. However, if you do it right and use a backer rod back there so it's just sticking on the two sides and not the back, really this caulking should, should be 10, 20, maybe longer. It should really last a long, long time. I have a similar condition on my house that I personally did the uh, caulking myself with NP1. My, my remodel is about four years old. All the caulking on the outside looks brand new even in a harsh climate like Austin, Texas, where we've got extremes, over 100 degree days, and cold wintry days. So this is a really good product, and if applied correctly, works real well. Also like to use this in other locations, like in this garage here, not quite done, so pardon our mess, we're still a couple days from finishing, where we used base molding in the garage. Maybe we can show it over on this side where we've got some stuff pulled away. This base molding in the garage, it looks like wood, but we actually use a, a PVC composite wood. We don't use PVC a lot in our houses, but in this location where you've got a lot of water on the outside of the house or potentially power washing going on, it's a good location where trim is touching concrete. But then we also like to caulk this mainly for aesthetics, also a little bit for uh, function because we're trying to make sure that none of the fumes from the garage get into the house. Again, a perfect application for a product like MP1 to caulk this joint between the base mold and the, uh, the concrete. Thanks for joining me, everybody. We'll see you next time.